Greetings, I'm Demonac, and it's Arena Time. Alright, this deck's been doing pretty well so far, to get up to five wins, but I think I said that this deck's got to be worth six or seven. Let's see if we can get there. I have to remember that I can't copy a spell that's in my hand with Shadow Visions. Once I, or it's in my hand, or I've played already, apparently. Because it appears that it only takes spells that are still in your deck. As opposed to some things that, like, when you, when you thought steal, it gives you a copy of the card in your opponent's deck. I'm pretty sure, I mean, maybe I'm wrong. I always assumed that it didn't care whether they'd drawn that card yet or not. You can never tell, because we're talking about Hearthstone card wording. Yeah. The mystical game, where people throw ducks at balloons, and nothing is what it seems. Anyhow, um, so I don't want Freak Member in my starting hand for many reasons now. One, because it costs eight, and the other two being Shadow Visions. Um, I don't really want Starting Hand Polluted Hoarder. We'll see if I can do better. I'm going to keep Igneous because he only costs three, and there's only so much stuff in my deck that is cheap. Although, this deck actually has about you know, three or four, like, one-cost minions. Like the Glacial Shard, who shows up every goddamn time. Against a mage, do I want to start out with the Glacial Shard? I think yes. Because he's got two attack. If, if her two-mana play that she could coin out was going to have two hit points, then she would have had to waste her coin shooting this guy. And since she didn't, I get to hit her for two. Pretend I have a Frost Giant, even though they don't exist. And now, she can spend her whole turn's mana to shoot him. Or I guess she could do that and coin. I'm guessing she's saving her coin now. Okay. Shadow Visions. That's nice, but I don't want to play that right now. I want to try and get some kind of board control. So I've got this dip. He's... I'm not a huge fan of this card, but he definitely serves a purpose in this set. That would be a much better thing to play instead of him, although this guy can pay for himself later. Um, oh, Blooded Hoarder's pretty good. Okay, that guy can only attack for one. That's what i got to remember. Even though this is his principal characteristic is like the one thing I know about him, but but no. I was thinking, oh, well, I should boost my guy's hit points with the Talon guy here, right? So that I can fight that. But no. Even with Fire Blast, that thing alone won't kill him. Uh, this mage could easily kill him somehow. But I can play the Polluted Hoarder. And if she attacks it with the, her guy, that would do one. She could Fire Blast it, and she would still have to... Him, him counting as an elemental makes him extra super amazing, as if he wasn't already. Shadow or Death. No. Shadow or Death is too good for you. Also, not going to work. So, which one do I want to give the hit points to? They both have a Death Rattle where if they die, it's fine. But, I mean, obviously this guy does more damage, so that seems like the one to buff. Because I'm going to be doing this, and then I could heal him. Actually, that's not too bad. Yeah, okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to buff him. See, I could Shadow Visions, and that would be pretty good. But I think we're going to hit this. And do I finish it, or do I take out the bubble? It's, it's not going to work out great either way. I should probably just finish that. I get my cheapo elemental guys. I'm going to heal this. So my opponent can take that out with a bubble and a shot, but I've got two guys here, so I don't know. Kind of back and forth right now. Drink the power. Ooh, that's that's some card efficiency right there. Unless she gets a really shitty potion. And even a shitty potion's gonna do something. She spends her coin for that, so at least the coin's finally gone. And I get a card. Not that I needed a card that bad, but I've got all the elementals in the world. Well. Wow. I almost literally have all the elementals in the world now. My opponent has so many cards, this guy would get charge. So that's pretty cool. Let's do that. Uh, I've got other options, but I think that's a pretty good one. Even though if I draw my amber, I'm going to be sad. 
Hold control. Hold control. I only have four hit points, but it's still board control. Three. He's got so many cards. Frostbolt. Okay, play him and then Frostbolt. So you get a little bit more value. No, no Frostbolt. Hello. Ah, uh, Tortolan is pretty good. So I want to heal this guy so that I can kill that and survive. Done. I really want to do this soon, but for now, I think our priority is do this. Kill that guy, because he's so, so good for a mage. Then I can play a giant taunt to protect my dude. And these guys don't serve much purpose, but I'm going to play him to get a card. I'm going to save this for something I actually want to freeze. I don't, re I don't need to freeze the worm when I've got a 2-6 taunt out there. That worm could do its work. Like, I guess if my opponent fireballs my taunt guy, and the plus one, plus one goes the wrong way, that would be annoying. Oh, volcanic potion, speaking of going the wrong way. Boo. And then fireball. Okay. That was a whole lot of effort, you know. That's actually fine. Whatever. I can blow that up if I spend all but one of my mana, so that's cool. And actually, I'm thinking I might want to do that. I'll just play Frozen Crusher. Play one of these guys just to, just because I gotta spend mana anyway, and then full beaten flame. Beaten flame could have done a lot more, but only to minions, and maybe that was a dumb way to do it. But I do have a shadow word death lying around. You're gonna kill the weak one. I think that's funny, because I can shadow word death your guy. Now I've got both of these now. I really gotta start charging up my amber, which I also, I could have played an amber, actually, if I had it from earlier, so that's unfortunate. Um, do I even want to hit that guy? I think I just want to freeze him. Let, let's, let's charge up our amber. Amber. I, like, I can shadow or death him, that's pretty good. I should really shadow or death him, actually. That, that's pretty good. Although he's only one hit point away from holy fire, but no, we're, we're going to amber some more. Oh, look, Amber! Running low on other spells that I could get. And then, try to death. Thank you for eight. Now, he can't attack next turn. Which is clearly a drawback. But, do I want... I don't care about freezing. Uh, I don't care about that. I'm just going to heal. One, two guy is pretty crappy. Okay, just gotta probably eat that three damage. You shuffle a copy of a 1-1 one, one for two into your deck? That seems like not the greatest choice. I mean, maybe that's gonna help you, but you're, you're gonna have bigger problems in a second. Like, whatever this is, that's a bigger problem. Also, hi! Um, now, I could heal this guy. I could heal myself. I could freeze one of them. Seems not that relevant. I should save that for something good. But I think I might just play this guy. And this guy. Okay, hang on to him. Oh, that sucks. That gives me a 2-2 for free, but that actually costs me a card if this game goes long. You're going to spend your entire turn's mana to Forbidden Flame him. That's pretty reasonable. Do what you got to do. But, uh, yeah. Okay, and it's going to blow up my Worgen, because that's the most annoying. Yeah. That happens. Testing Rock. Oh, okay, I need to have a guy out for that. Let's get one of these. Oh, I hate Yogg Saron so much. Oh, I'm not going to get the Battle Cry either way. Oh, well, that's to that. Well, unfortunately, Nazdormu's power is going to kick in, but whatever. More meat than my opponent. As much as I hate that thing, I have a lot of stuff. Okay. You are determined to kill all my things. Too bad I got so little out of the stars, but 
I'm still getting a lot of stuff out of my cards. Oh, I can give him taunt! Oh, that's hilarious! Okay, that's gonna be my turn, pretty much. I'm gonna freeze you, because why not? And he's gonna get taunt. Because that's what he does. And then I'm gonna give taunt. Not to the 2 1. The 2 1 doesn't need taunt. She can just shoot it if she wants to, anyway. That, uh, that's pretty that's pretty significant guy, but let's see. You know which adventurer that could draw me a card? Yay! Must be in. Okay, I don't really need that right now. So I keep one of my guys if I do stuff. This guy technically survives him, not by much though. If I kill that and then heal him, then my opponent would have to shoot to kill him. Or I could just hit her for a bunch. This guy plus one damage would kill that, although he, then he'd be more vulnerable. But, I mean, what's he good for, anyway? Do that. Yeah, I think I'm just going to take out the forces. I kind of want to keep this guy alive, but I don't. there's no good reason to. I'm better off just killing that. Now I have all the things, you have none of the things. Healing him may be a little bit silly. The rock is able to do damage at about the same rate and more reliably. But... Okay, he sounds like something. Ah, oh, he still gets fireballed. Okay. Bright Eyed Scout just draws me a card, and I'll be able to cast it even if it. Aw. Oh. I forgot I had one left. Because those were both copies that I used. Battle Cry, Battle Cry, 8 8 or 7 9. Uh, let's take the 7 9, why not? Not great choices, but eh. He's like, stop with the amber already! Just let me be alone! That worked okay. <laughs> nope, that deck, deck did what I wanted to do, pretty much. I I would have to say that the luck of pulling your charge uh, is pretty much cancelled out by pulling the Harby. That's just kind of neutral. Like, he could have been a big legendary with a good non-Battlecry power, or he could have been just, like, one of the 12-12s with, you know, no drawback. So... Getting him wasn't as special because I pulled because the first thing I pulled wasn't good. But eh, it also opponent had to kill him. She couldn't like sit around and think about it like he was a ten like he was the the ten ten for ten guy that does nothing. Another mage get up in this high in the uh, in the arena and you start running into a lot of mages sometimes. But it was rogues before, wasn't it? Yeah. Don't need you. You're less good than him. Four mana, I think I'm going to keep Tortolan. He's fine. I've got a lot of taunt. It's a pretty slow hand. I probably should have pitched him too, because I could have drawn more cheap things, but you never know. Uh, speaking of never knowing, Torn has no idea what to do, or is AFK, or something, because this is a slow mulligan. Yeah, that's a real hard choice you got there. Whatever it is. Your generic card backs. Nope, there's a person. Or at least a cat. You never know. Something you can touch a mouse. So I got a coin. Uh, I don't think I'm coining him out. Like my opponent would have to do something impressive to get me to coin him out. This piece of crap will pretty much kick his ass. Because it doesn't take much. Boy, I'm, that, that thing's never going to get a chance to run into him. He's going to get killed by crappy little elementals. 
Um, I think I still play him. I can take more damage if I don't play him. Now, I don't know if I'm going to want to coin this guy out, which has a lot of advantages, or what I'd want to coin him out instead, because so far it doesn't look like my opponent is going to be doing a huge amount of damage to me. You're still going to use those guys to kill him, right? Oh yeah, he's taunt. You don't have a choice. You gotta kill him with something. It's obviously gonna be those two burps. Little flickers. Um. Put flame. So yeah, I don't think I need the shell razor. I think I better off coining this guy out, and then he might survive. And if that's the case, then uh, the shell razor would have someone to give plus one plus one to. So yeah, I am going to coin this out. Does. It uses my coin, but it definitely seems better than wasting my team, wasting my turn just healing myself for two. Although technically my opponent only has two damage worth of minions on the board. So I don't know what this guy gave her, but uh, I'm going to guess it's a bigger taunt. So good. Makes the one four eight that does nothing not look so good. Hey, that's not the end of the world. I could mass silence these guys, it would be kind of funny. Not what's going to happen, but it would be kind of funny. I don't know, maybe I'll mass silence them later when they, they start building up more. Like, getting rid of all the taunts, yeah, that's fine, but it's not like I could do anything with the, this 2 damage anyhow, so. Let's get out the Tortolan. Still looks like it would take one minion, like more than just one minion plus Fire Blast to actually kill my guy. So. I'm going to do the damage to him. Because he only hits back for one. Might as well. Yes. Stupid nose. Uh. It's boom o'clock. That's no good. Did you forget... I I think there's a fairly decent chance that she did not she she queued up her attacks and didn't realize that the plus one plus one was going to screw her which would strike me as humorous um I really need to play an elemental to trigger him but it looks like he's going to have to come after the crusher so for now it's just going to be tiger and I don't want to silence because when she dies my opponent's going to take five damage I should get a couple of her and like put them in my shaman deck and evolve Excuse them. Me. You are on fire. It would be, clearly be a pretty good annoying play. Um, the valet, excellent, excellent power card. Because you choose him in the arena, you don't know if you're going to get the secrets or be able to set it up. Okay, now I get the cheaper elemental. Whatever. We are going to kill this. Wouldn't want anything to not happen to her. Play Gigantoid. It will get you eventually. Or get Polymorphed. But if you're Polymorphing him, it all seems like just slightly a rip-off because he was under-costed for a drawback and then he doesn't have a drawback anymore. That's annoying. Ow. Now I'm still taking a beating. Again, another way, cheaper way to trigger this. But I'm going to play this guy, and then hit something, and then heal probably myself. I need to hit points more than the Crusher does. Um, it's, none of these are ideal choices for me. I mean, this guy could be awesome, sort of, but he's not going to survive that long. This would give me an extra card, but it's totally random ass. This guy is just kind of expensive. He might do the job, though. I don't know. I'm going to take him anyway. Um, I'm going to kill the biggest thing. And heal myself, because I am not super confident about my aliveness right now. My army is better, but not ideal. Oh, that again, that always hurts so much when you have a five hit point creature uh, and your opponent blows it up and gets a minion. There might be the Hydra again. Yeah, okay. This 
This time, instead of a, instead of an under-costed, super-powered minion, my opponent got a, like, over-costed minion who had, like, a strong battle cry they don't get to use. Not even actually that strong a battle cry. <laughs> if your deck is not super exactly tuned for that. But okay. Um, so, I am hurting. It would be good. Like, I'd like to put this guy out so he can start killing things. But it would be good to get this out with taunt. So I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to play this piece of junk. And that gives us enough minions that he has taunt. Now it's ash to ash. Never go mouth to ash. Kevin Smith. Anyway. What's up? You finally get, you're gonna fireball him? Polymorph him? It always seems like a little bit of a Okay, that sucks. Uh still it it's barely doesn't kill any of your guys. It was clearly worth it. But it wasn't like the total ultimate thing my opponent might have wanted. Eh, it worked out pretty well. Okay, now she did clear the entire battlefield with just, with this, just that. And my army was clearly better, and she still got four mana with which to do something. That's something. Although, she's gonna die pretty soon. I'm going to play this guy. And I'm gonna freeze your ass. Uh, and I've already got most of my elemental stuff. I'm going to play this guy. I do need to save one in case I get the next... Oh, I was supposed to learn to remember his name. Servant of... Crap, because it starts with, like, K, but it's not Kalimdor. It's something else. I don't remember. Oh, he's falling off my queue. Well, now we'll never know, because I'm not going to draw the next one, even though I want to. Shut that. Okay. Free from Amber? Oh, but I was going to blow her up. Blow her up. I think I'm still going to blow her up. I need the health. And my uh, other guy can clean up. So, yeah, we're, we're actually going to blow her up. We're going to save this in case something worse comes along. <laughs> okay. I did not know <laughs> that I summoned Guile. That's kind of awesome. But again, we're saving him in case we draw a servant of Calamos or Calamari or whatever the hell. Servant. God damn it! You and your Firelands portals. Okay, well, that's that's not as god damn it as the other. Um, so I could trigger him by playing an elemental this turn. We'll see. I think the thing to do, though, is free from Amber. Enough of this crap. Um, Molten Giant would be an 8-8. Gruel would also be an 8-8, and he would grow. So he's clearly better than that, although he's going to die anyway. Charge Devil Sore would let me kill both of those guys, basically. Because he would come out and kill the uh, small one, and then my opponent would not would have to trade the bigger one to take him out. Gruel, I would have control over the situation. I don't have enough mana left to shower death. Yeah, I think I'm better off using him, because either way they're going to die. This one has I have more control over the situation. Now, I could heal him or myself. But he's probably gonna run into a 6-5. I'm gonna take the chance that my opponent has a flame strike or something. It's, it still wouldn't be the world's most effective flame strike. What sucks is I've used my one amber, and since I drew and played the real thing, I can't shadow visions the amber anymore. In fact, I'm running out of things to shadow visions in my deck. Yeah, see, if I healed him, he still would have gotten fireballed, so I made the right call there, but this is not good, and that's super, super not good. You don't have enough cards for that to work. Um, okay, step one, try and draw something from my opponent's deck to kill them all with. Flame Strike would be amazing. That's not a Flame Strike. It's close, but it's not a Flame Strike. Do I want to Blizzard those two? No, because he would still be alive. So next we're going to mass Dispel just to get rid of him, basically, just to stop him from doing that. And then I could Shadow Word Death her, which would save me a lot of damage. 
I think I'm going to. I might regret it, but I've got some stuff. I do have lots of cards, so that's good. Cards are good, even though this guy is barely a card. Gotta play him at some point to trigger this guy, but really I'd rather have him trigger the servant. Mind control, nothing. It's fine. Let's be an okay blizzard. Ow. There's a servant of Calamos. I did get it eventually. I was exactly right on his name. I'm going to... yeah. Oh, that could be a counter spell. There's, there's nothing I can do about it. I just kind of need this to work. It is a counter spell. That sucks. That's pretty bad. I don't have any other spell in my hand. I had to do something, but that's pretty bad. So now I'm going to take the beating. I wasn't attacking, I was healing myself, you piece of crap. So, my army of crap there, not going to fare too well against her army of not crap. Now, next turn, I can play him with Bubble and Taunt, and I can play him and get myself another elemental. You're going to Glyph, Discover a Spell. The Primordial Glyph is awesome, because it's basically free mana-wise, right? In fact, it's better than free. Because if you play it, and then it reduces the spell's cost by two. So you can play that spell for exactly that spell's normal mana cost, or... You can use that to store two mana for a future turn by playing that and then doing it later. See, I don't know if I have anything left to Shadow Visions. I really don't. Uh, let's do this first. Mira the Sun Shard would be pretty awesome in a future turn, maybe, if I live that long. We're going to see if I can do anything with that. We're going to play this guy. I'm not going to attack with him because it's going to do nothing for me. Oh, this is going to be tight. So if I play this, I can cast the Shadow Visions, and whether or not I've got any spells left, I will be able to at least get a free, free random priest spell. But that assumes I'm in a good enough position that I can play this and not die. Which is quite an assumption. At some point i got to play this guy. I can play him and give him Taunt. That's not terrible. You're wasting your Forbidden Flame and your entire turn's mana on killing a 4-5. That's a good sign, because I've got better. Losing a lot of your army. That's an excellent sign. We like you losing a lot of your army. Stormwatcher actually would be pretty good, too. I want to do this, but I want to not die, and my opponent could have a Pyroblast. And I've run into that before, where I, like, this, the gamble is, do they or do they not have a Pyroblast? And man, that's a gamble. So, I'm not getting a good taunt out of it. Either. But no, I can kill that guy if I give him plus one, plus one. So you know what? Yeah, I was thinking of doing something weird like playing him, and I can do that still. But no, we're just going to, we're going to, I don't want to do that. We're going to play this guy, and we can both give him taunt and kill this thing. Now, if she shoots me, she probably has a power blast. But that just means I have to heal myself every turn forever, which I probably should be doing anyway, but sometimes you got to do things. Oh, this is tense. Now my computer is threatening to lag out for no reason. That's really inconvenient. You know that I never actually considered the fact that I was giving that guy plus one, plus one. I never considered the fact that you would waste that on that, but... Okay, now we're in trouble, because if it's a pyroblast, I'm dead. And there's nothing I can do to kill that guy directly. So we're just going to have to take our chances. If I could discover... If I could get a free random smite, it would be excellent. That's probably not going to happen. That is actually a pretty good card. But yeah, all I can do is Shadow Visions for itself. So if I heal myself and it's a Pyroblast, that actually doesn't help. If I cast this, I could get another free random spell... If she doesn't have a Pyroblast, that's awesome. If she has a Pyroblast, I'm dead anyway, right? So really there's actually very little drawback. Now, there are non-Pyroblast things she could do that would also be bad. That's pretty good. Does she have a Pyroblast? If she has a Fireball and that's the only damage-dealing thing, she can knock me down to one. 
gonna be a pyroblast. So it's a damn pyroblast. So if it arena pyroblasts. What we do. That's not a pyroblast. Now I might be dead anyway. Due to stuff. But I'm definitely not definitely dead. I don't even know if this works anymore if I've drawn literally my last spell. Okay. So what I need to do. Uh, unfortunately, she's gonna die. He or she, whatever. Lyra sounds like a she. Whatever. I'm gonna need to heal myself probably. Hmm. It's a fireball. I'm gonna be at five. Heal myself back up to seven. I'll still be dead. But I will get a spell from doing this, and it kills all the minions. So we're gonna do that. That was not a good spell for you to give me. That was goddamn useless. Now, I'm going to heal myself. And since i got nothing else to do with my mana, I'm going to find out whether this does anything. No, it literally does nothing. The fact that my spells came in the wrong order is going to be the death of me. So if she's got a fireball, I'm already dead. If she has not fireball, if she has like a big minion, a big minion would be good. A medium minion would actually be bad. That's not good. Not much I can do about that guy killing me. I need another taunt. I think I've used them all. Okay, so if I just play a big minion and heal myself, I may not be dead, because that she's going to hit me for three, and I'm going to be at six. So I may not be dead if I just play this guy. Man, that's interesting. Because I could also play this, see what I get, still heal myself, but I can't heal myself and do anything else useful. Uh -huh. Well, no, I can play her. I can't. I can either play what she gives me, or I could heal myself and play a four-cost guy, which is actually also pretty good. You, I'm not going to kill her soon anyway. Let's do that. Let's just see if the random factor can save me. Probably not. <sighs> Rockets here kill that instead of healing myself. I don't. Think so. I mean, I'm probably gonna die either way, but technically my opponent only has four damage lying around, or three damage lying around. I'm gonna play this idiot. This document looks legal. I think drawing cards might actually kill me. We're at, down to that point. Opponent has a lot of health. I don't know what cards she has. If she plays a big minion, unless it has an awesome battle cry, that's actually probably good for me. You hit me for three. Then do you draw a spell to finish me with? That is the question. Or am I still kicking? I'm still alive, technically. Okay. Now I've got stuff on the board. So that's step one. So we're gonna heal myself first. I'm not. There's no course of action. It wouldn't involve healing myself. I can't kill that guy very effectively with these idiots. So I think I'm actually gonna waste the rocketeer. I've got other stuff now. Like, not greatest other stuff, but other stuff. So what does she have in her hand? She's saving just, like, a flame strike? Because this guy's actually a good counter to the flame strike. Not counter, but... Oh, yeah, you just shoot him first. You shoot him and then flame strike, but then his thing would still survive the flame strike because you had to shoot him. Okay, Blazer's annoying. But yeah, that's not that bad. You gave me a free one of those? Really? Card from my opponent's deck, right? Yeah, that means that my opponent has one of those. Interesting. That's not so threatening, although my health is pretty low. So I always have to heal my health. You know what? I think this is the turn to play him. I'm not being super directly threatened. My opponent would like to do some softening up damage. But again, every turn she could just draw something that kills me. As long as I heal myself every turn and kill as many minions as possible, I'm doing all that I realistically can. So you're going to blizzard again. That's what your hand was full of. Okay, that works. Corrupted Seer. Okay, that's not quite a blizzard. That is legally binding. So I can kill the guy that pops out of him with this. I don't see that I need to be in a rush for that. But so I'm going to heal myself. I'm going to kill this. I don't think I'm going to bother killing him. He does less damage than I heal. And I can play more stuff. Now, I'm going to play this as a backup, maybe. 
Drawing the card, I think, is actually possibly bad at this point. I'm going to play this guy. This document looks legally bad. I'm going to play this. But I'm going to buff him because I am worried about my opponent drawing a flame strike. At any time, she could draw a Pyro Blast and win. Draw a Fireball. At this point, I've healed so much, a Fireball may not actually win. Because that's only 7, 8 damage. I should be alive after just a Fireball. In fact, I should win. Can she glyph the Pyroblast? Friggin' glyphs. These things coming in the wrong order. But, ah. I, I was lucky I got some synergy, so I got something out of them, but... Oh. I'm going to assume the choice wouldn't have taken so long if it was a Pyroblast. Because I'd be dead. But what is it? Because a Flame Strike is a mixed blessing. So I'm going to copy of him. Ooh. But they can't attack. And I can blow one up. You can't blow both of them up, though. You have to do something. Cabal Courier. Okay, step one. Does Cabal Courier win me the game? Cabal Courier can win me the game for next turn if I just kill both those minions. So let's do that. We're going to heal myself. So blow one up. And how do I want to do 5 damage to him? I could do it with this, although he would be at 1 then, which is pretty unfortunate. Or I could do it with my other crap guys. Let's do it with my other guys. That keeps him as a contingency. And then I was luckier than my opponent. And that's kind of bullshit, because she did discover a spell twice. But And this was out of three classes, but yeah. Oh my god! That game! Oh, that was a pain in the ass. <laughs> we managed to pull through! And, uh, it was exciting. So, that. But yeah, now we gotta see if I can keep on going next time. Please click the legendary like button. And don't forget to subscribe to Demonet Games for more Hearthstone Arena and other gaming videos.